Hey everyone, uh, this is Simon, your host for the Modern Awakened Perspective, uh, your map for the path to enlightenment. And uh, in my second story today, uh, I've got an update here on the Quadrega uh, Canadian Crypto Exchange and uh, the death of its CEO. Uh, before I get into that, uh, I want everyone to please, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content. Also, the comment section will be open if you have any opinions on this, uh, this uh, you know, crazy story and how it's evolving. Uh, if you uh, agree or disagree with, uh, you know, my perspective, that's fine. Uh, but uh, by commenting and by uh, liking and subscribing, it helps uh, this kind of content uh, be found by, by more people. Okay, let's get into the story here and the update on the Quadriga Exchange. Um, Basically, uh, to give you a little background on it, $150 million worth of cryptocurrency seems like it was mostly Ether uh, from the Ethereum blockchain uh, was lost or compromised once the CEO, Gerald Cotton, uh, passed away unexpectedly in uh, India while he was supposedly uh, on a mission to uh, build an orphanage there. Sounds like he was a good guy if that's what he was doing, but it's been called into question that... Uh, you know whether he actually died or or you know maybe he faked his death and after some research it shows that uh, the area he supposedly died is known as an area where people can uh, can fake their death quite easily and there's uh, people that sell death kits and there's people who are for hire doctors and and uh, witnesses to say that uh, you know that you actually did die and you can have all these forged documents there but what's really interesting about this story is that uh, he supposedly died in December, but yet up until mid-January, um, some of the assets there uh, continued to be moved. Now, if uh, he was supposedly the only one with access to the private keys, which allows you to uh, move the coins around in the storage, in the cold storage wallets. So either he wasn't the only one uh, who had access to the to these coins, and people at the company. Uh, have lied about that and uh, they're actually uh, confiscating the coins themselves or uh, he actually did uh, you know fake his death and he's been moving coins um, you know since then so either way the 115,000 customers of this Canadian crypto exchange are getting bent over they're screwed uh, because uh, the company's filed for bankruptcy and they're not going to be able to probably get their money uh, and if they do, um, you know, it'd probably be a long time from now. So I don't really hold out any hope for them uh, cashing in on what they had invested there. Now, um, also, it seems that uh, he was notoriously, uh, Gerald Cotton, the CEO, was uh, pretty uh, paranoid and, uh, you know, really into uh, making sure that his coins were well protected that's why he had them in the cold storage wallet he also had some uh, on an even bigger exchange known as Kraken and uh, the head of that company um, his name uh, oh, I had it written here now oh, Jesse Powell was the head of Kraken here and he said that they had uh, at one point 230,000 uh, ether tokens um, on that exchange that Quadriga controlled and now that there's less than 1,000 remaining. So clearly that a balance over there has been drained and uh, again with the people who are smart enough to analyze the blockchain through like blockchain explorers uh, they can tell uh, even though they can't access the wallets they know whether the wallets uh, contain assets or not and uh, they haven't been able to, to show any assets for what Quadriga uh, owns and uh, the, ass the uh, addresses they control. So uh, it seems pretty odd to me and either way this stinks to high heaven. Uh, the, like I said the customers are screwed. Uh, the money's either conf been confiscated by the employees that remain at Quadriga or the CEO faked his death and he's ran off with the money. So either way uh, this is some sort of a, a scam going on and this is just another reason people need to control their own money 
Don't leave your coins in the hands, uh, or even gold and silver. Don't leave that in the hands of some other third party. You need to uh, be your own bank, basically. That's what cryptocurrency and the blockchain allows you to do. So you need to take advantage of that freedom. Uh, be your own boss. And be your own bank. Uh, be your own boss also if you can. That's the way to go. All right, guys. Uh, that's my little update for this story. I thought it was worth mentioning that uh, after he supposedly died, uh, coins are still being moved around. So um, if you like this story, give me a thumbs up. If you like the content, subscribe. Uh, whether you like it or dislike it, you think I'm jumping to a conclusion, whatever, uh, please feel free to leave a comment so a discussion can take place. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.